I want them to feel like they're in Bavaria. You've got Bavarian flavored beers, you've got pretzels, you've got tables that are set up similar to um, a Brauhaus in Bavaria. His grandmother is from Austria. Uh, my father was in the Air Force and spent a lot of time in Oberammergau, Germany, so we wanted to stick on a Bavarian theme. We started researching what beers were popular, what interior of brew houses in Germany looked like. The wood carvings were all done by, by my stepmother. She learned to do that in Bavaria. All the nutcrackers, all a lot of the decor came from there, from my family. So we started out as a home brewing hobby. I actually started with making wines and he saw how much fun I was having, so I bought him then a beer brewing kit. We talked about, oh, someday maybe we could do a winery, something like that, and then researched into what consisted of getting a license for both areas, including brewing, and it was a little bit more in our range to do the brewing. We purchased our wort from a company called Smart Brew. It's, uh, the wort is made in either Dusseldorf, Germany area, or New Zealand. The majority of our wort comes from the German facility. It comes here and really we're fermenting it. So that's why it's collaborative, because the first half is done in Germany and the second half we do here. I've had people come in and tell us that our half of Eisen is very similar to what they've had in Germany. I've been to Germany and tasted it, and it's it's just like, you know, you go there, Weiss beer, Weiss beer, that, that's a Hefeweizen. The other one that was a big seller in the beginning was our Bach beer. It's traditionally a spring-made beer, but we have it year-round, and people also love that. So those three we will always have, including an IPA, even though IPA is not a German beer. A lot of people really like IPA, so we try to have that on hand. New York used to be one of the highest producing hops. I've used New York State grown hops for the Bach beer, for example. They're out there and there's more and more. As I can get a hold of them, I will use them so that I can have that New York State piece into our beers. To me, when people think of New York, they automatically think of the city and they don't realize how beautiful upstate New York is. I've actually had someone come in from Germany and tell me this area looks like northern Germany where there's a few less mountains. Just about every day that we're open, there's new people coming in. This is a destination brewery where you can step in here. It's a different experience. Come experience upstate New York with its beautiful landscape, lots of camping, lots of lakes. Come pick up a beer and a crowler and take it back to camp. I've seen a lot of people do that as well.